sometimes when we have different perspectives, we need to have empathy because Right, we just said, it's not right or wrong, but we need to take into consideration that other people have different thoughts. Carol is the guidance counselor at Glencrest, has been with us for years. Carol started out, though, in the classroom. She was a special education teacher and um, then transferred over, or moved over to the guidance counselor role. It's just kind of the perfect role for Carol. She's this kind, kind person who really is empathetic and in her guidance counseling role, kids have really connected with her. She's always there for whatever problem comes up with a student, whether it's, uh, you know, they didn't do well on a test, or there's drama with a friend, or, you know, a family member's terminally ill. I mean, she kind of runs the gamut of, of kids she works with. And I think that's something that she's really good at, is that she's here for every kid, regardless of the situation. Um, and every parent. You have a new student moving in mid-year and she's the face of Glencrest. She's the first person that um, that they meet and she meets with the student and she meets with the family to welcome them uh, to, to Glencrest. Middle school, a time that can be kind of uncomfortable and awkward for many children and um, she needs to, from that meeting, learn where they are as far as their academics, how to place them appropriately. She brings a lot of strengths to the table. She's very organized, which, and just being candidly, I'm envious of. <laughs> She's very good at like, so those executive functioning skills, which a lot of our kids struggle with. She's outstanding. I think Carol has really uh, revolutionized the role of guidance counselor. She's really changed it and made it her own and made it for the better, to be quite honest. It's not about picking classes. It's not about scheduling. The guidance counselor role, because of Carol, at Glencrest has really turned into um, a social emotional supportive role, one that counsels students and helps them grow in their mental health and their confidence. I was going through a difficult time and she like really helped. It was like it was through seventh and eighth grade. Um, I just like was struggling at school, like I didn't like it. It just she gave me a point of view that was like different, like even though like she was like, yeah, the situation like is not the greatest. She even, like taught me like how to make the best out of it and like give me strategies and like I follow those in school is a lot better. She shows like how much she cares. Like she went to like my badminton match. Like she she really shows how much she cares. So she really has um, advocated to support students' mental health needs and their emotional well-being so that they can be present and successful in building their personal relationships at Glencrest and developing their adoles developing through adolescence and then being successful in social studies or being successful in science or going out to try out for the team or the musical um, because she knows that you have to be right with yourself before you can be successful in anything else. She gets to know her kids, she gets to know her parents. It's hard to replace that right, she just knows her kids and her people well, and that's really beneficial. Carol has three boys, um, Kevin, Dan, and Tim, and they are all expanding their families at the same time. And so Carol is gonna go from just having one or two, two grandkids to four grandkids in a very short period of time. So in retirement, Carol's gonna be a dutiful grandmother and spend time visiting and traveling. We will miss Carol tremendously, but we are incredibly grateful for showing us the importance of um, supporting the mental health of our students and advocating for their needs. And there are kids that, I and mean, she's helped through some very difficult, in, in some cases tragedies, in some cases just difficult circumstances, um, and she's been invaluable to them. And. Um, made a lifelong impact, I'm sure. I just I really care about her and she really cares about me, so.